this is Hank Hank, and we're about to play a game. I am Tristana with a Tarek and we're about to go against Lucian and Blitzcrank and this is a ranked game. All I gotta do is um, dodge these hooks and I think we can do it pretty well. Down in the bottom lane. Hope my range can beat them later. I'm pretty sure it will. As long as I don't let uh, Lucian double hit me a bunch. And I gotta use my jump. Very usefully. Not really for damage, but for positioning. That's what that jump is for, if you're 80k with Tristana. Get out of bad situations, or you could put yourself in bad situations. We got a Master Yi, so we're probably not going to get that many ganks. Unless, actually, I think we will, because he has uh, the teleport. But I hope that uh, gank plate goes tanky because this guy is going to have a bunch of damage. Probably out damaging me later in the game. Just going to start out Doran so I get a little life back and a little bit more damage. A little bit more health. start out with uh, E because it's uh, the explosions are really good. And the uh, range increases with your ultimate so it's a pretty good move to have with your passive. Uh, reduced healing helps out a lot. I didn't get a trinket. I think I might get one of these so that I know what's happening over here. Ooh. I think our team has a lot of damage so far. But yeah, if you cast that after auto attack, then you do a bunch of damage over time with it. It's worth it. See, that's the explosion right there. To let you push lane a little bit so you can be a little bit of a bully it's always a good idea in between auto attacks to move so that you can't get grabbed or something of those things I always try to move backwards because the chances of things happening are less. I got my W because if I get grabbed I should just jump out but not too early because uh, his um, E which is his knockup could cancel my 
W, which is my rocket jump. He beats me early on, so I don't really want to face him. I think I made it out still, so that's good. That wasn't that bad of a encounter. He's probably gonna try something. Boop. He took a tower shot for it. Now he doesn't have the grab either. He's low enough that we could take him. It's hard to get this farm underneath the turret because I don't have enough damage yet. But I, I'm going to start building up my cube first. So that once I get into a skirmish, I can just auto attack real fast. And hopefully out damage them. Once I hit six, I'm not going to be that worried. So then I have two escapes. My R, which knocks them back. If they're clustered, it knocks them both back. And there. That stun's really going to do us good if we get into a bad situation with these two guys. And he's pretty tanky, so... Miss that, see us. I'm trying to push it a little bit so we can be even in lane. Didn't have enough range. And I used my jump. And watch him back. But see, now I'm shredding right now. With 70% increased attack speed. Now I should just get out and get... I'm just gonna get a BF sword. So I can out damage them real, real good. Maybe I'll get a vision ward too. Because, uh, 
Eddie Carries can help Ward. It's just after they get full items, they don't have a warding thing like uh, the support can. I personally sell mine after a while if the game's dragging on really late. Just because warding is important, but that's why we have a trinket too. We might have to help other lands out. Cause we already got the turret and we're pushing real hard. And we got a level advantage too. Not really kills advantage, but level advantage. I'm going to place this right over here. I know it's here. I think it's uh, pretty nice that they can see it because you can bait them with it too. Get a kill from it if they're not careful. See, now that he's scared. That's what that got it. I didn't flash because I knew my jump was gonna be good enough. But I did barrier because that was a lot of damage real quick. We should go help out this gank. Kill this too. He should know I'm here, but I don't think he pays attention or anything like that. Another cool thing is you can damage them from right here. Since your auto attack range is so long. If he would have got another auto, he could have gotten me. Nice. Boom. See? That's why you don't want to stay there like that. I think I might get my static shiv before I finish uh, anything, unless I can buy a last whisper faster, more damage there. But I'll probably finish the boots before I finish anything. So I like to keep this item long so I can get the bonuses from the passive. Derek's support is very underrated because it's pretty easy, but right Tarek support can do really good. Because they're really tanky and they the heals always heal themselves, so if they take the damage, they can heal others, but heal herself too. I would have gone for it, but I couldn't jump far enough for that tunnel. The perfect spot to place a ward is right underneath this so that if uh,
I messed up my jump right there, but it's so that if you put it there, they have to fight the dragon. We should get a dragon, but I don't know if the jungler wants to slow us down his timers real f And he's getting stacks, which is a good thing. I finished my boots. Ooh, bottom start might be destroyed too. It's destroyed. See that move right there really helps. It's the pool move. I have to say, pooling is one of the best moves, I feel like. Especially now, since you can use other moves while it happens. Ah, I still got it. The damage of those W's from his soldiers is a bunch. I can probably take on Lucian now. I need some life steal, that's what I need. I might get Infinity Edge first. Just because. Personally, I think it's better. We can beat it pretty fast with them. Blood Crank's over there, so they don't really have a hard initiation. Got it. It's going hard. Boom. See, most of the time you don't want to jump in like that, but when you have the advantage you should jump in unless it's a really fast um, assassin then it, you'll just get instant murdered this game's going good so far 4-0-2 probably going to suicide or not suicide but surrender this probably first even though I have parts of the other item rather get this I don't think the new champion is that OP right now ooh 
is he getting? Nope, he's not getting. He's fine. I didn't think he was going to land his uh, Q, his uh, grab, but he did. He did. I don't want to get trapped by him, he'll kill me. And I won't be able to damage him at all if he gets his combo off right. I got enough for Infinity Edge, I think. Yep. Might get one uh, a Phantom Dancer too, just so I can walk through minions. That passive can help a lot. So I have gotten minion blocked. That sucks. I've seen a lot of people do two of these for the maximum cooldown. It's pretty good, but I feel like they'll just have to sell it later on to get better items. It's kind of like a short game item. But it is really cheap to get both those. And it gives you a lot of ability power, too. We're about to get this turret. I got killed. I got the kill though. I don't know if I, I might just get a Triforce, besides getting another Phantom Dancer. That was my first death, so I'm doing pretty good. See, sometimes it's good just to use your Q on Annie to get the stun, because the other stuns aren't guaranteed. That was an easy fight.
think I'm out farming uh, them too. So that's good. Probably get a last whisper before I get a static shift. I think he can reach up to him. If not, I'll flash get it. Nope. He's far enough away that I can't get it. try to get enough gold so I can get the last whisper. I still need some life still. Static shit. That crit damage is really gonna help. It's gonna be real nice. I can probably out damage um, a Zero now. Well, he flash killed me, so that's different. If he walks too close, boop. I think there's no chance we're gonna lose this game unless that Zier just dominates somehow. We just need to push and finish this. That's where double in.
GG. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Hank Love Hank, and toodles.